Today we will learn how to create smoke text effect in CyberLink Power Director. So we have to go to the text first. Then from here simple text should be taken on the first track. I will split the text for about 3 seconds. I will delete the rest. Then I go to the content room. Then Smokes Clip brings to the second track. I will unlink and delete the sound of the second track. Then text track will be enlarged according to the video clip above. Then double click on the text to go to the title designer. I will write smoky text here. You can write whatever text you want, I'll take the impact font. I will space the letters and make the text a little bigger. Then press OK. Now what do I do? Then reduce the opacity from the end of the second track. Now take a keyframe a little away from the middle of the clip like that. Press the control key from the keyboard, you will see the sign here of the keyframe. Then take a keyframe here. Hold Ctrl key, then come to the end of the track and bring down the next keyframe. Then copy the second track and paste it on the third track. Then the opacity keyframe of the third track will move it slightly back from the center. Now I will give blending effect on second and third track. I will give a multiply blending effect to the second track. Select the second track, then go to Tools, Blending Mode, then choose Multiply. Now play the video. It is not clear here. Then select the third track, go to Tools, Blending Mode, then choose Screen. Press OK. Why did I do this? I'm showing the second track smoke effect inside the first track word. And the smoke effect of the third track will pass beyond the text track. Now we will see final result. Please like, share and subscribe. It looks great. So guys, today we learned smoke text effect. Thanks for watching my video.